And we should be live. We should be live. Who's out there, baby? Let me know anybody who's in the chat. Make sure you can hear me. Today we're doing something a little different. So let me know if uh, I'm coming in loud and clear. Got a whole new setup for you today. So this should be interesting. What's up, Somber Heart? How you doing? Awesome. Whole new setup. I am not at home today. I've got the laptop. I've got the big ring setup. I've got the 4K webcam here. Make sure we're looking good. Awesome. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Sunshine State. T. Trevor. We're rocking the mobile setup today. Hopefully the, uh, the visuals are good and the audio is good. Good Goy Productions. Drew, any comments on Charles's latest theories? What, uh, what theories would those be? What's up, SBG? How's everybody doing today? Hope you're having a good weekend. I hope everybody's watching UFC tonight. We got some crazy good fights on tonight. Highly recommended if you're a fight fan. Anytime you get to watch John Jones fight, it is a, uh, it's a pleasure. Regardless if he's done steroids, regardless if he's ran into a woman while she was pregnant, broke her arm, and then fled the scene, forget all that. He's a good fighter. <laughs> Terrible. You guys probably see me lot, uh, more clear than ever with this webcam. This thing is insane. I just got one from my house too. Got it as a birthday present. What are Charles's latest theories, by the way? I need to hear. Good goy. Looking good. Thank you. Thank you. Man, I hope you guys... This is a sleeper... Today's a sleeper live stream. I hope everybody's ready for this. I found this dude, Pete Jacobs, last week. I had no idea who he was. Of course, I don't follow triathlon or, or Iron Man or anything like that. But uh, he, I saw him on a podcast last week called Human. And... Um, interesting. I saw him on a, live, a podcast last week called Human. And it... Uh, it, it got to me pretty pretty quickly. Basically, he was talking about how he recently went carnivore. Um, he has psoriasis on his face. I guess it breaks out. And he's a 2012 Ironman gold medalist, like the number one guy, the guy who won Kona Ironman. So I'm very excited to talk to a legitimate athlete today and somebody who is recently gone carnivore. This is something that the vegans say that cannot be done. Something that, you know, it's going to be interesting to talk to him and see exactly what he's doing to eat. He's very articulate. I think the triathletes are the craziest of everybody in terms of exactly what they're putting into their bodies, exactly the type of training that they're doing, how much training, how hard, their sleep, they're tracking everything. These guys are insane. And on top of that, they're training like an insane amount of hours per week. SPG, hell yeah, Funky vs. George is hype, too stacked. Dude, this, this card is super hype. I'm ready for this. Yeah, I'm ready for this card, man. I think I got, well, I'd like to see Jorge take that fight. I, I like Jorge, obviously, much better as a personality than uh, Ben Askren. But definitely John Jones. I mean, there's just no question there. Tiago's a great fighter. Heavy, heavy hitter. It'll be a really interesting fight. I think it'll be fun. Um, and then who else is throwing down tonight? We got, uh, there's another, another, oh, the Luke Rockhold fight. Yeah, I'm interested in that one, too. Hope that John Jones gets his ass kicked. Been saying this for way too long. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Holly. Yeah, Holly needs this one tonight. And it's a big fight for her for sure. Um, I think it'll really disrupt things. And I can't believe she hasn't actually fought Amanda Nunez yet. That's pretty impressive. What's up, Vegan Deterioration? How you doing? We're, we're doing a casual... Casual stream today. We don't got any of the fancy stuff today. We got uh, we got a laptop, and we got you know the webcam, the new webcam. Got a little blue yeti here, little little cutie pie. So hopefully it sounds pretty good. I'll have to watch it back later. Yeah, dude, Bobby's new video was sick. 
Really intense. I watched that in the car this morning. It's very good. Uh, he's talking about Earthling Ed's. Um, who's Ed Winters? Ed Gaunt. How crazy is that if his real name is Ed Gaunt? Like, the gauntest dude on the planet representing veganism is literally here. Give respect. You take respect. All right? You're a pillar of this community. We respect you, Ron Paul girls. We need you. We need your capitalization. We need everything you have to offer. Uh, new camera changes looks are the same. Uh, I'm not sure. How, how much? I, I'm way, I'm like 142 right now. I'm light, man. 5'10", 142. I'm light. I'm like skin, I'm like vegan light right now. It is a new camera though. And this camera is like very good. So it's probably showing all the imperfections. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's see. David Goggins, ex Navy SEAL, is plant based. He has a pole world record. Um, is he? He's plant based? Really? No, he's not. Yeah. <laughs> Vegans just make shit up. So GG, I guess. The guy the guy who's a Navy SEAL. Don't, don't mind it that uh, all the other Navy SEALs are not plant-based, that the military does not believe in plant-based eating. Vegans are insane, man. Orion, welcome to the chat, you know. Just hang out, Orion. You can eventually learn some stuff about veganism, ex-veganism, just like you'll be someday. I'm sorry to tell you this, but the vegan thing, it's not going to last forever. David Goggins is plant-based. Okay, let's, let's look into that for real quick. David Goggins, plant-based. It's terrible. Doesn't work long term for anybody. Sorry, 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 my friend. Nobody is a high performing, feeling good athlete and is vegan. Doesn't exist. Especially without supplements. Especially without crazy genetics. Especially without drugs. Thoughts on Plantriotic? Oh man, he keeps blowing me up. He's been messaging me like he messaged me today. He's like, oh, I'd love to see what Drew says as as I'm getting shredded as hell. Like he looks the same to me. He really does. I'm not trying to take anything away from him. I'm glad he's having hard work. But he looks soft. He's not like having that shredded down rip look. He was way leaner before. He put on fat and he put on muscle. Big deal. He says he's really strong right now. <laughs> um, Charles, is Charles making new content? Is that is that where is that the direction he's going? Let's take a let's take a quick peek. See what he's. Oh wow. Okay. Got it. No no comment. Jesus Christ. You can't make assumptions on no info. I didn't make assumptions. I just told you I just Googled it. He's not a plant based eater. David Goggins is not plant based. Get get real, dude. Hello, Bart K. The Nutrition Science Watchdog, welcome. You are always welcome to this channel, Barke. I love the exchange that we had on Facebook, by the way. It was like all of us from our real Facebook profiles with our real names talking to Richard Burgess saying, hey, Richard, how come you won't debate Barke? He, he had all the excuses in the world. That was so funny, man. It was like me, Bobby, Barke, um, uh, Richard uh, Poizo, the, the keto mechanic showed up. It was like the four of us just having this chat on Facebook, which I don't even use, normally speaking. Pretty funny. Ron Paul Girl says, Plantriotic is a moron, but philosophy and fruit is super duper nice. Okay, well, at least you got some love out there for the fruit, philosophy and fruit. I'm glad to have the, I'm glad to have the vegans in here. T-Tribby, welcome. Joe Pearson, huge supporter. Thank you for being here. Eli, of course. Good luck getting that fat boy to debate a real researcher. It's, it's, Pathetic, dude. Like, if you are going to base your whole, you know, debate, uh, what do you want to call it? Your debate foundation on studies and research, you should be talking to the best people in that class. You should be talking to researchers and scientists. You shouldn't be talking to even PhDs and doctors. That doesn't even make any sense. Those guys don't make the science. They do their part in interpreting the science, interpreting the science, right? Shakotan needs chicken livers, 100%. I just ate, uh, right now, just had lunch with Elise. 
We ate um, like a pound. We split a pound of turkey, dark turkey roast. So good. So good. Straight from the store. Um, real fatty. Really good flavor. I don't know what how they cook this stuff, but it's amazing. And then had some chicken wings with it. And I also bought some of that Dubliner cheese from, uh, what's the brand? Uh, Kerrygold. Really good. Chicken liver is amazing. I do agree. I like the vegan, I like the vegan omnivore X vegan love going on in my channel these days. See, you know, I had to get away from the, 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 the super hate a couple, couple weeks ago. YouTube taught me a lot, uh, lesson and now we're back. We're back on, we got to have a little bit of information sharing here. Let's move the conversation forward, shall we? We don't need to be completely dumping on each other every single day. Uh, let's see, Eli says he picks his battles very carefully. Guys like Spearage looks weird even when they beat him in debate. Would he debate Kruger? I don't think that uh, Vegan Gaines would debate Chris Kruger. He knows who he is. Um, and Chris Kruger just made that video showing how Vegan Gaines has basically lost strength and performance even though he's gotten much much heavier recently. Pretty funny. Pretty funny. Philosophy and Fruit says, I like your channel, but I do not agree with you. Sorry, not sorry. I do not take any personal offense to that whatsoever. I'm glad to have you here participating in the chat. I really do mean that. We need everybody here. We need all the vegans here. We need the ex-vegans here. This is a place where like everybody should be coming for proper discourse, communication, information, real information. We're performing our own science in certain respects. I'm not saying it's the best science in the world, but it's better than anybody else is doing on, on YouTube, isn't it? Esk8 Bear says, I have been keto and carnivore for 16 months and I'm having problems with gout. I can't find anything online to help. Everyone reckons keto fixes gout. Bart K says, go for carnivore, not keto. I would agree with that. Uh, carnivore is going to be the most effective um, elimination diet. Why not Why not go for that? That's probably the way to go. Ooh, I have to make sure that... Ooh, I may have gotten myself in a pickle here. Smash that like button, baby. So carnivore didn't help his gout. Interesting. Real professional, Bart. That's why you're not worth debating. Man child. Well, you know, how come a professional with a professional mind can't have some offensive words to say? Keep in mind, Bart's also from, you know, New Zealand and the Aussies and the New Zealanders, they're, they're a little more harsh than the, the Westerners, you know, that's just part of their culture. Don't be, don't be rude. Let them, let them be, you know, that's their part of their nature. I think it's funny when Richard posts videos, debate with Kruger or Bart K debate fail, but won't actually debate them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta actually debate them to claim any type of victory. You're allowed to talk shit afterwards. But I find that most people who end up facing off, like the people that come on my channel, was, uh, I, I end up having more respect for them afterwards. But it's kind of hard when they don't come on the channel. And I don't want to name names of people who are don't even want to come on here and have a conversation. I don't know what their problem is. But hey, man, they can do whatever they want. Okay, give me one second, guys, because I do know that I'm going to run into an issue in a second here. Like I said, I am not at my home computer, obviously. Hopefully, the quality is up to your expectations. But uh, I might have to do something wacky here. Give me a second. I need to figure this out. Okay. I'm sure I look real crazy right now. Hmm. I don't know why Mac 
and this program are not going to play nicely together, but that is going to be a problem. Huh. Okay. Let's see. I asked Vetual, I asked because Vetual Police was self-diagnosing his gout. Yeah, <clears throat> in order to claim something like gout, you definitely got to go get uh, diagnosed for real from a real doctor. Can't be claiming real doctor diseases without getting diagnosed by a real doctor. Cassie Gregor, welcome to the channel. Man, guys, yesterday I ate like, I ate some Brussels sprouts and some potatoes for dinner. Terrible guess. I did not have a good stomach today. I had some bloating going on for the first time in months. I don't even remember the last time I had bloating. But sure enough, potatoes. You eat baked potatoes, instantly gives me bloating. Ah, Bart, that is some reasonable, that is very reasonable. What up? Anything lined up with Feldman? Update on Joe and Chase? I do not have an update yet. Uh, Joe has been working with Dave behind the scenes. And I believe that uh, Dave may be dropping his own video with a follow-up to Joe. So keep, keep tuned for that. I'm not sure. I haven't really uh, talked to Joe after the experiment. Or Chase, for that matter. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to do that. But I may have to do the, uh, the cheapo... Uh, Google Hangouts thing, which I really don't want to do, but I think I'm going to have to do that. Have you had mangoes today? What have you eaten? I had mangoes yesterday. They, one, one mango immediately gave me a sour stomach. I felt perfectly fine. I ate a mango, instantly had like a sour stomach. Nice. Bart's getting a little side side action here. Glad to see it. What's up, Taylor? How you doing? Nicholas, you got to keep it cool, buddy. Nicholas Shackle. I know you're excited, bro. Got to keep it cool, baby. We got to keep the chat live. Can't be getting the chats banned. It's no fun for the people who come after the live stream. Oh, the B-Day was good. We could talk about that, and then I'll probably have to figure something out with the stream. I ended up going to Los Angeles with Elise. We went to my friend's uh, yearly block party. Um, you know, drinking all day, all that fun stuff, pool party, you know, the rafts, the little swan rafts, everybody's getting drunk, it's a real good time, catching up with old friends, um, eating barbecue and all that good stuff. And then, of course, at nighttime, the fireworks started and they had illegal fireworks. So um, they normally do illegal fireworks every year. They put like a couple thousand into the production, a couple thousand bucks into the production, and the cops rolled straight up to the house with the sirens blazing and uh, they got a thousand dollar ticket. Like right on the spot. Taylor Marshall says, Drew, I'm back to vegan. I got tested for IBD. No IBD, but possibly IBS. Still having intense stomach pain. Getting tested for SIBO soon though. Hey man, do whatever you got to do. Yeah, straight B-Day raid, man. I had to keep it pretty cool that day though. I didn't get too, I didn't get too out of control. I just... I drink enough to have fun, 
and then I had to cap it off because I knew how to drive. And then I, you know, I kept it chill. And then I drove like five hours later, made sure I was good to go. We had to drive from LA down to San Diego. So. Uh, Sibo test, yeah. I mean, why, you know, we don't, we don't hear a lot of success stories from Goji Man's camp, you know, with these Sibo tests that he's allegedly giving people. Haven't really been seeing people with too much results from what I have heard. We haven't, we haven't seen that yet. So I wonder what's up with that. I gotta look something up real quick. Yeah, that's no good. Shit. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do this the way that I want. Damn it. Let's see. Joe Pearson says, I'm 51. Never drank in my life, so no clue what it's like to, but glad you had fun. Really? You never drank, huh? That's interesting. Vasectomy, buy one, get one free. Gatsy Gregor will operate, uh, operate personally. Does meat alone cause heart disease? I got into an argument with someone over that question. Uh, I would suggest looking into Bart K's cholesterol information on his channel. He's got a lot of it. It should convince you that uh, should convince you that cholesterol and saturated fat is not an issue, especially in the context of not consuming sugar alongside of it or processed foods. Guys, I'm going to have to do something like not ideal today with the stream. I'm sorry to not bring you the uh, standard high quality production, but we're going to have to make do. So I'm going to have to basically restart the stream with the standard Google Hangouts production, which I'm not happy with at all. But that'll happen in a few minutes. RK, I think Michelle Lowe wants to be live with you in a debate or discussion. Interested? Yeah, I wonder. I wonder. Uh, I, I think she does want to talk to Bart live. I think she's offered that before, right? Bart, would you not flat out not be interested in talking with Michelle Lowe? I think that would be an interesting conversation. I think, she, I think it would be more cordial than people would realize if they faced off on a live debate format, so to speak. Awesome. Thanks, Bart. I'll check out that video that Drew mentioned. Yeah, dude, just Bart K, uh, cholesterol information. There's He has several videos on it. It's very good. Drew, does it worry you that there isn't enough studies on carnivore diet yet? No, I, I don't do carnivore diet, so I'm not really that worried about it. I eat a pretty varied diet. In fact, I personally enjoy eating as much crap as I possibly can without feeling bad. I go by the feedback that my body gives me. I go by the... the f I know what it feels like to feel really good now. So for me, it's, I just go by how my body's telling me, what my body's telling me. It's really not that, it's not rocket science. You eat high saturated fat meats, high cholesterol meats, you feel extremely good. You feel like your brain has literally been hugged. It's like a nice warm, warm hug when you have that good food. The higher quality of the meat, the higher quality of the milk and the dairy and everything, you just feel so good. Triglycerides are another question when simple sugar is considered as well. Yes. 
Yeah, you'll find that most vegans have very high triglyceride to HDL ratios. Not very good. T Tribby, I like Michelle Lowe. I would be interested to see it. Yeah, I would be interested to see it too, actually. No raw milk today, Nicholas Shackelford, but I did have some uh, Dubliner cheese from Kerrygold. Very good. It's grass-fed, organic. It's only five bucks for like a block. Pretty good amount of cheese. My favorite meat is, um, pff, hey, can't go wrong with grass-fed beef. I eat a lot of it. Bar, did you catch uh, Michelle Lowe and I's debate? Um, or discussion, whatnot, whatever. She she seemed pretty knowledgeable within, within the regards of like the available science that the vegans have. Um, so I, I had to sit there and listen to quite a bit of what she had to say, and I just kind of took it for what it was worth. Have you noticed better muscle gains going back to animal foods? I was packing on muscle mass, but got quite chubby when trained. Dude, you got to just stay, uh, stay in the calorie allotment of yourself, but keep the protein up with animal foods, and you're going to definitely notice more power and more muscle gain. Got you, Bart. Um, okay guys, I'm going to have to basically shut the stream down. I'm so sorry for this. I forgot that the laptop cannot capture desktop audio. I know that sounds tech techy stuff, but, um, it is what it is. There's nothing I can do about it. I'm gonna have to restart it with the Google formats hangout. And we're going to call Pete Jacobs. We're going to get our, um, our normal two hour stream format with him and we'll let Google hangouts do what it's going to do. And we'll deliver you the content. Okay. So stay tuned. I'm going to restart the session and I hope to see every single one of you pop in there. All right. See you guys in a second.